What are you making of the, what we're seeing, what the trend lines are? Uh, there's a reason why there's anxiety in, in the Harris camp and yeah. growing enthusiasm and optimism. Uh, I mean, all the trend lines, this looks a lot more like 2016 to me hmm. than it does 2020. And you're seeing whether it's rural turnout surging up, but we've had to up our projection of total turnout in Georgia than what we saw. And as we'd been saying, and we'd seen this, higher turnout was always going to be better for Trump. Not, you know, there's always been this pre-Trump era of conventional wisdom it used to be Democrats would perform better. But he has the sort of the occasional voter. And it looks like, and we're actually even seeing evidence of what I call these shotgun Trump voters. They come in, they vote Trump, and they leave. Mm -hmm. Because there's about 100,000 vote gap. I mean, the, you know, the Democratic Senate candidates in the yeah. blue wall are all in better shape right now than Harris. And did Republicans mm -hmm. crack, the, crack the code of, of early voting and, and finally glomming onto that, even though Donald Trump is sending a separate message? Well, one might argue now, if you look at the three Trump elections, one, he obsessively made sure people didn't vote early. Two, he didn't. One, it was at 16, and then it's this one. So you, you may be on to something, but I do think the bigger story is their ability to expand the electorate. He used to have a ceiling of about 47, 48. That's not the case tonight. He expanded it another point or two. That's significant. As we know, in a razor-thin environment, even if you're just adding 50,000 to your voter rolls, well, that's the difference between winning and losing Half the blue wall. I heard your Dallas Cowboys thing. You know, I mean, <laughs> there you go, history. right? Wait, I mean, do it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it know. also works for Lambeau Field. That well, the last four, literally, the a, a, election. Better, a better stadium to pick. You don't want to have losing team. Yeah. Oh right? my God. So, oh, the oh, losing oh, here, we go. here we go. Oh. No, just that that our elections, our last election was yeah. decided by eighty thousand voters in and four states is, that would fill. But, a but can we also remember one other thing here? Because this is, she was trying to do something as a sitting vice president that had never been done before succeed an unpopular president, mm. Mm. okay? Hubert Humphrey tried to do this, and he came one percentage point short. Mm. It was a very close election. The electoral vote wasn't close, but it was a very close election. But it came up short. Uh, Al Gore tried to do this. While Bill Clinton's presidency was popular, Bill Clinton, the individual, was not. We all know he came up. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.